Hi everybody and welcome to another part of these Solidity tutorials. In this part we're going to talk about NFTs, what they are, how they work and what kind of standards that we use for them and then we will create uh, an ERC721 standard for creating an NFT. So what is NFT? NFT stands for non-fungible tokens and as you can um, remember we worked on the ERC20 tokens which are kinds of fungible tokens but here we have nfts that are non-fungible tokens so what do we mean by that fungible tokens uh, when we talk about them they are uh, a number of tokens that you will determine their number with uh, the total supply uh, variable right so here as you can remember we had the total supply here this number multiplied by 10 to the power of a number which is decimals but when we're talking about NFTs there's just one token uh, determined for some a specific piece of art or anything that you want to make it an NFT right so this is unique and uh, because of its uniqueness you want to uh, mint a kind of token that um, holds the value of that specific piece of art or anything you want to make it an NFT. So in summary, NFT is something unique that you want to sell in shape of a token, right? And uh, NFTs will allow us to do that. So each NFT has its own unique ID and its unique URI and whatever um, that uh, actually it holds with itself is uh, a kind of data that represents that kind of piece of art and then uh, in that way the artist or any person in the world that holds something unique that he or she wants to sell then they will be able to uh, use the NFT technology in order to sell it easily. So uh, here in this tutorial we're going to write the ERC721 which is one of the Ethereum standards for writing the smart contract of different NFTs so that later we can uh, sell them in a marketplace like OpenSea or other kinds of marketplaces that uh, you can see multiple numbers of them uh, in on the web so here um, the uh, we will only focus on the smart contracts of NFTs but notice that uh, the whole topic of NFT is, uh, is such a big topic and uh, you need to work on different parts of it so when we get to the uh, deployment of the smart contract using different frameworks then uh, there are some of the topics that we need to talk about like interplanetary file system or IPFS uh, where which is a decentralized kind of a uh, data system or file system that you store the uh, image or whatever you want to make it an NFT in there so that um, then you can just sell the uh, so sell that piece of art to the person who is going to buy it right so here the only point of focus is on ERC721 notice that uh, there are other standards for NFT such as 1155 so um, but here the uh, main and the most important uh, a smart contract is 721 and then in the future we will also work on ERC 1155 but right now uh, it's much simpler for you to first study 721 and then go after the other standards so as you can remember we use open zeppelin standard for ERC 20 we'll do the same for uh, 7 ERC 721 so first of all we will create a contract which is a shorter one for you to understand how NFT works and then we will uh, also write the smart contract related to ERC721 so with that said let's get us started as always let's create a new file here on the contracts folder and we'll call, we'll call this ERC uh, or let's in simple call this nfts.so and um, I'm, going, I'm going to copy and paste the first two lines here and also, in order to import the ERC721, I'm going to copy ERC20 and change some of the parts in the line, um, such as uh, 20 to 721 and here 20 to 721. Also, we're going to import another library from Open Zeppelin, and um, here I'm going to copy. 
these parts and uh, then utils so it's the counters library and so counters.so and there it is now now it's time to create our contract so contract my nft is erc721 open the bracket and here we're going to be using the library count called counters counters for counters.counter and then uh, counters.counter counters.counter private token IDs private underline token IDs and then we've got a mapping for our smart contract so you into 56 and uh, to the string so this mapping about the uh, token URI so private token URIs and the token URIs contain some metadata about the NFT token uh, so there it is so it's uh, a kind of a mapping from the token ID which is a number to string which is it which is the token URI so later we'll see what we're going to do with that now let's create our constructor constructor parentheses and then ERC721 my NFT which is the name and the symbol is NFT There we go, and then let's write our function here. Function um, create NFT. So address recipient gets the address recipient, and a string memory token URI. So token URI. You are eyes. There we go. So no, actually, it's token. You are I, and so public returns you int two fifty six. So notice that this token URI, the reason this is uh, singular and this is plural here, because these two are different. This token URI is what you give from the user and this token URIs is for our mapping from the token IDs to the token URIs. So the token URI is a kind of a string which contains the URL of the um, place where you have uploaded your image or photo to IPFS which is interplanetary file system which is a decentralized database or a data file system for um, in for actually saving your data such as image or anything you want to NFT so uh, then it contains some other data <coughs> such as the name and the symbol of that token and then the user will get that token URI enters it and then creates the NFTs so it will then uh, return the token ID so that's why we have uh, return returns to 256 now let's open the brackets and here we're ready to write our contract so token IDs dot increment increment and so the next line do you in 256 new token ID you in 256 token new token ID new 
token ID, which equals the to underline token IDs dot current. And uh, here on line mint, recipient and new token ID, recipient and the uh, new token ID, there we go, and set token URI, which is the name of the function which we're going to write later after this function so set token URI and new token ID and here it gets also the token URI there it is and it will return the new token ID There we go, and then we'll write the function related to oh function sets new token i token URI. So function sets token URI. So actually here this is uh, this gets an underline here also gets the underlined to set token URI it will get the hue into um, hue into 256 token ID and also string memory token URI hue int 256 token ID and string memory token URI and it's a virtual internal function. So internal vir virtual function, internal virtual, and then let's open the bracket. So first of all, it, uh, there's this requirement here for existence of the token ID. So exists. token ID and then uh, if it doesn't exist I will show to the user ERC721 metadata ERC721 metadata so URI does not exist URI does not exist and also um, here we'll have the token URIs token um, actually token URIs so here we'll have token ID and that's it so let's save this and see what are the existing bugs here. So um, actually, this doesn't finish here. Token equals to token URI. So token URI. So now let's save this and uh, see what the problems are. Token URI and token URIs. There we go. So says did you mean token URI or URIs okay here these two are different this is token URI and this is token URIs from the mapping this should get an underline here now um, token IDs so here we have two underlines one of them is extra now it's been compiled successfully and we're ready to uh, deploy our smart contract so let's deploy it simply here and let's open it as you can see it has a, a bit of similarity to the uh, erc20 
functions and variables but here it's uh, there are a bit num more number of uh, functions which we are going to explain the future tutorials when we want to consider writing the uh, ERC721 notice that uh, the first step here is to create the NFT and the variables it gets is the recipient address which is the address who um, is the first person or or the artist who will own the um, the uh, actually token token of the NFT and the token URI is uh, for the kind of metadata that contains the URL of Swarm or IPFS that you uh, have uploaded your image in it and also the uh, name and symbol inside of one string which you will enter here will not focus on that part but uh, in the future tutorials after Solidity we'll, we will get to that so uh, if you are in a hurry to get this kind of data you can just uh, google for it this is not uh, a very hard task can get the token URI and enter it here and then you click on the transaction and afterward you will be able to create the um, token so then you can uh, you'll have approved just the same as uh, ERC20 and uh, also other functions such as safe transfer from which is the same as transfer from so this is another safe transfer from with the data and also here we have uh, set approval for all which is nearly the same as the approval and also transfer from right so uh, we'll see what all of these functions are and what are the differences between all each of them you can check the balance uh, by entering the address of the owner and also check the get approved and is approved for all and uh, other different kinds of uh, data so here because we haven't created the NFTs the N NFT we cannot um, get the data but uh, later once we learn how to uh, actually upload the image and get the uh, URI for the NFT we will be able to do that so here the whole point of uh, this tutorial was to write the smart contract which we have done right now successfully using the open Zeppelin and for the rest of the project for testing it you can refer to future tutorials where we will learn how to do that but for now we've managed to create the simple smart contract of an nft and i hope you've enjoyed it and till the next video goodbye